Greetings fellow warriors and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. Today I've got a very small mod guide for you, where you flesh out the trade aspect of the game. A little bit. Making it more viable and fun to actually be a trader. With this video you're going to be swimming in... in no time. As always, I tested this set of mods on the latest main branch version of the game, which is during the recording of this video E140. And like I said, this is going to be a very small one, because many trade mods don't work in the latest version, so I can't stretch the video past the 10 minute mark and get like 5 bucks from YouTube as an extra. Artem, why you no stretch video past 10 minutes? Before we can even think about trading and caravans, we need the right jumpstart in the game, which is going to be possible with the mod Cultured Start, which is a character creation improvement to allow for more control over how you start the game. With this mod we are going to have the ability to start the game as a merchant, giving you a few mules and some basic mercenaries right after starting your adventure, to become the biggest slave trader in Calradia. Yeah? yeah? Oh! It's just about traders? Oh, okay. My bad. You can even choose your starting location, using this mod with different flavors. So if you want to start in Prevent, or Kassira, or even Dunglens, you can do that, it's up to you. Additionally, you don't have to decide for one city and let the mod place you somewhere randomly at any city. This mod is also pretty good when you want to play as something else, but I talked about all the features before so I leave it at that. Now that we are a trader or a caravaneer or whatever, we can start trading with the mod Bannerlot Auto Trader, which allows you to buy and sell items automatically. The mod is highly configurable to meet your playstyle and you can decide if it should manage the trades or just sell your loot. How it works is, you go to any settlement and press on automatically trade goods in the dialog options. Afterwards, a trade window opens with pre-selected trade options, which can be configured using its neat little in-game configuration tool. It automatically buys items that are cheaper than the buy setting percentage of the average price and automatically sells items that are more expensive than the sell setting percentage of the average price. There are many different settings to tweak and tinker with and I recommend taking a look at the mod page for a more in-depth look in what the mod has to offer rather than my quick overview of what it does and I don't want the whole video to be focused just around this mod in particular. In my opinion, this is a must-have mod for a trader-only playthrough. Instead of micromanaging every trading part, you can just adjust the mod to your liking and boom, click the button. Next up we have Best Workshop Type, which adds some dialogue to shopkeepers at your workshops to ask them to recommend a workshop type based on some calculations regarding availability of nearby resources. The calculation is done at the beginning of the game, when generating workshops for all towns. But resource availability changes a bit over time, so it doesn't hurt to check twice after you've already played some time. This is one of the mods I'll keep in my game even when not specifically playing as a trader, because it's always good to know what kind of workshop makes the most profit in different towns. I used to look at the map which someone created to determine what type of workshop belongs where, and now that we have a mod that does it in-game is just nice, I like it. Up next we have Caravans Give Trade XP, which gives caravans trade XP based on profits. Due to a bug in Vanilla Bannerlot, caravans only give trade experience if they are owned by notables and not clan leaders. This mod applies the same XP gain of notable caravans to player caravans. Trade XP is gained daily when the caravan pays out to the player and the amount of XP gained is half of the gold paid out by the caravan times the player's learning rate. The companion leading the caravan also gets trade XP based on a quarter of the caravan payout. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory to be honest. And while we are at XP gaining stuff, why not add the mod Caravans Use and Gain Steward skill, which is a mod that seeks to improve the balance of caravans by making them gain steward XP. With this mod your caravans will use their own steward level to increase their party size. They will start off with 30 units and will recruit more as they go along. You can check the amount of units the party can have in your clan tab. So say goodbye to parties of 50 bandits raiding your 15 man caravan. Naughty boys. Today's last mod is going to be Better Caravans, Looters and Thugs, which adds a full viable troop tree to caravan and thug units. Looters can now be upgraded into caravan or mercenary units. The new units are much like the mercenary troop tree units, slightly less skill than professional soldiers of the faction trees but not useless to have in your army anymore. 
The mod author also fixed the skills for the remaining armed traders and caravan masters, because they had some inconsistent skills for the equipment sets. It's a good mod to have if you want to be a trader only. Fighting of looters actually gives you real caravan units you can use to protect your own trader party. Instead of hiring 20 Vlandian knights stealing the last coin off of your purse. That's it for today's video. Like I said, it's a pretty small one, because so many mods do not work on the latest patch, making your game crash, etc. You might have noticed that this video had a different spin on it than the others, with much more comedic stuff going on. Tell me if you want me to continue putting up jokes here and there, or if you didn't like it and I should revert back to the old way of doing my mod videos. I had a lot of fun editing this one, so I hope you're liking it too. And all the mods are going to be in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Stay brave warriors and bye.